Good afternoon, dear students. Now we will talk about the most popular tests from the CROC-1 base. The topic of our discussion is called Laboratory Diagnostics of Streptococcal Infections. So, let's start. Test number one. Blood was taken from a patient with suspected sepsis and inoculated into sugar broth. A bottom sediment formed uh, in the sugar broth. When uh, transplanted uh, to blood agar, grew small, transparent, round colonies surrounded by a zone of hemolysis. Gram-positive cocci in the form of long chains were detected in a smear prepared from the precipitate. What microorganisms are present in the blood of this patient? The correct answer is B, streptococci. Do you remember we use blood agar to study the hemolytic activity of bacteria, especially bacteria such as streptococci and staphylococci, because some of these bacteria have hemolysins. Therefore, you can exclude answers A, micrococci, D, tetracocci, and E, sarcina, from the list. Uh, in the photo, you can see colonies on blood agar with a beta hemolysis zone. Uh, beta hemolysis is uh, complete hemolysis. Also, note that these bacteria are capable of forming long chains, like uh, in this photo. Yes, this morphology is uh, characteristic only for streptococci because uh, they divide in one plane. For example, uh, Staphylococci look like uh, clusters of grapes uh, because uh, uh, these bacteria can divide in the three orthogonal planes. Uh, so, also you can see that uh, this pathogen is gram-positive, but this is not the key word uh, here, because all these uh, cocci are gram-positive. So, uh, the correct answer is B, streptococci, because uh, the main key word uh, in this test is called chain, long chains. Okay, let's continue. Test number two. It is known that caries is a multifactorial pathology, the main trigger of which are cariogenic microorganisms. Which of the following microorganisms plays a major role in the development of caries? The correct answer is D. Streptococcus mutans. Think of uh, alpha hemolytic streptococci, such as viridan streptococci, this uh, oral streptococci, include uh, species such as mitis, sanguis, salivarius, and mutant streptococcus mutans. You can see uh, streptococcus mutans in this photo. Uh, therefore, the correct answer would be D. They have the enzyme. Uh, this enzyme is called uh, glycosyl transferase, and um, this enzyme uh, converts uh, sucrose to dextran. Uh, therefore, uh, streptococci adhere better to tooth uh, enamel, uh, they can produce some organic acids and destroy enamel. In this photo you can see uh, caries, yes. Uh, so the correct answer is uh, D, streptococcus mutans, because uh, uh, this is uh, oral streptococci or viridan streptococci. Okay, continue. Test number three. Microscopy of the sputum of a patient with lobar pneumonia revealed uh, a significant number of gram-positive lanceolate diplococci surrounded by a capsule. Detection of which pathogen should be expected? The correct answer is A. Streptococcus pneumonia. In the photo you can see lobar pneumonia on an X-ray. This pneumonia is caused by streptococcus pneumonia. Microscopy of uh, sputum from the patient show with lanceolate diplococci. Uh, this photos illustrated uh, this diplococci. Uh, 
Uh, also, you can see that uh, this microorganism uh, has capsule. For example, uh, group A or group C, streptococci, have a hyaluronic acid uh, capsule, but um, this lanceolate diplococci has a polysaccharide capsule. This is uh, the key word. Uh, here. Okay, uh, also you can see that this pathogen is gram positive. This is also the keyword here because uh, Escherichia coli is uh, gram negative rod shaped bacteria. Uh, Chlamydia pneumonia, uh, this is gram negative pleomorphic bacteria, and Klebsiella pneumonia uh, is uh, gram negative uh, rod shaped um, bacteria too. So the correct answer is A, Streptococcus pneumonia, because only Streptococcus pneumonia looks like uh, diplococci. Okay, next question. A seven-year-old child who repeatedly suffered it from streptococcal sore throat, you can see it in this photo, the doctor suspected the development of rheumatism and prescribed a serological test. The presence of antibodies to which of the streptococcal antigens is most likely to confirm the presumptive diagnosis. In this test you can see rheumatism. Rheumatic fever can occur after a sort infection from a bacteria called group A streptococcus. Only group A streptococcus, this is beta hemolytic streptococci. Uh, the most common occurrence is uh, carditis. Only antistreptolysin or is an indicator of a previous streptococcal infection. This uh, can be determined uh, by the latex agglutination reaction, for example, with the streptolysin or antigen. If um, we see agglutination, uh, then the antibody titer is more than 200 units per milliliter. This is a diagnostic titer for adults, but for children uh, this uh, indicator equals 150. So, the correct answer is a O streptolysis. Test number 5, last test. A 12-year-old boy developed rheumatic heart disease after suffering from sore throat. Each subsequent streptococcal infection worsens the patient's condition. Which drug should be used to prevent complications? The correct answer is B, penicillin. Because uh, according to medical protocols, uh, the prevention of recurrence and progression of streptococcal infections is um, the appointment of regular administration of penicillin. Other preparations uh, such as streptococcal toxoid, streptococcal bacteriophage, donor hemoglobulin or autovaccine are specific and aren't used for the prevention of rheumatism. Uh, by the way, in this photo you can see normal valves and damaged valves. So the correct answer is B. Penicillin. So we have uh, already finished it. Um, thank you for your attention and see you later.